Hey everyone. So today we're just gonna go over the basic skills on how to get on and get off the chairlift. I'll give you a few tips as a snowboarder too. What will make your life a little bit easier as far as loading, riding, and unloading. Some of you may have never ridden a chairlift before out there. It might be your first time and uh, it can be a little daunting at first. So I hope this video will help you if it's your first ski trip or if you haven't been on a chairlift very much or zero and um, we'll just jump right into it. So the first thing that you need to practice is the uh, skating around with the one foot and you need to figure out which foot you like to have forward that you have in and the other foot to push you. If you don't know, check out my um, learning how to snowboard video or part one. I go over that in the beginning and gives you some tips when you realize if you're gonna ride uh, regular or goofy. So I'm gonna jump in and uh, I ride regular, so I'm gonna have my left foot forward and my right foot is gonna be pushing me around. What I suggest, once you figure it out and you start skating around, you're gonna wanna really practice skating. If you're not very comfortable with it, practice skating for, I'd say 20 minutes, but really until you feel good and comfortable with it. Um, then from that point, once you're done with that skating, you'll jump into gliding. Again, I recommend doing that on the flat ground first. That's where you're gonna push yourself a couple times and then put your foot on the back part, or I'm sorry, on the board, right up against this rear binding, and you'll glide, skate glide. So we'll do that a little bit, and then we'll jump into the next step. This is a nice flat area to practice your skating and gliding at first. So once you feel good with the skating and gliding on a flat surface, that's when I recommend finding a little slope. Because when you get off the chairlift, there's a little slope as you come down. Some are steeper than others. That can be a little, a little daunting too, getting off. Most of the time uh, when snowboarders are starting out, they do fall. I taught for four years and it was a struggle at first. But just like anything, the more you do it, the better you'll get at. So again, you'll find a little slope this is a little bit steeper than maybe you'd want to practice on. I'm pretty experienced, so I feel comfortable here. But we'll find a little slope to practice your skating and gliding down a slope. And then you're going to have your heel or your toe edge or your toe hang off the snowboard a little bit. And once it comes time to slow down, you'll just dig that toe into the snow or heel into the snow. And that's what's going to slow you down. All right, sounds real basic, but it takes some time and muscle memory just getting used to, you know, performing these simple tasks. But you're gonna have to do it when you come out here. You have to take, you know, pretty much a chair left at any resort, all right? So, I'm just gonna practice some uh, skating and gliding up here and some, t and some stops on my heel and toe. Hopefully these visuals will help you out.
right, so after those exercises, the skating and gliding, both on a flat surface and down on a slope, you feel good and comfortable with both of those, then you're ready to try the chairlift out. You're gonna use both of those skills to get on and get off the chairlift. Let's go check it out. So we made it to our first chairlift. What I strongly recommend, don't just go down there and try to get on. Strongly recommend going down there, taking a look, watch how snowboarders get on and get off. Oops. I guarantee you they're gonna do exactly the same steps that you were just doing, okay? Skating, probably no gliding up. You'll probably just, you're definitely just gonna skate up to the chairlift. Don't try to glide up, cause you might just overshoot the line. So let's head down and let's see if we can catch a few snowboarders uh, loading the chairlift. All right, so as you can see, pretty it looks pretty simple. Now remember when you strap in, only strap in one foot, your front foot. Don't strap in your back foot. Don't strap in both feet, just your front foot. I've seen it all. When it's your turn next to go, you usually wait at a yellow or green line, which is right here. And be sure not to make the same mistake as the guy on the left and go too soon. As you skate up, there's usually another line where you stop at. You want to plant your front foot right on that line and turn around and get ready for the chair to scoop you up. There we go. And normally, when you get on the chairlift with people, they're going to pull the bar down right away. Hopefully, they give you a heads up and they don't doink you in the back of the head. So, when it comes time to pull down the bar, usually initially, just give everyone a heads up. Say the bar is coming down, and make sure where these poles are, they're not gonna hit you in the legs, okay? Bring it on down, and that's it. All right, and if you look down on this super chair, there's places to rest your snowboard, okay? What you wanna do is kinda arch yourself sideways a little bit, Put your front foot right on top of that bar and just relax. Try to keep your snowboard as straight as possible so it's not clipping other people's gear, their other skis or snowboards. A good tip, if you ride with your left foot forward, it might be a good idea to try to get on the right side of the chair. That way the board is just kind of hanging out that way, okay? If I was goofy and I was sitting here, the board would be that way and everyone to my left, you know, I might be hitting their gear. And a lot of people don't appreciate that. And a lot of this gear is pretty expensive, okay? Same goes if you ride goofy, you sit on the left side with your right foot forward, that way your board's kind of facing out that way, all right? And if you're with people that snowboard and they, they ride the same as you, sit next to that person, that way your boards are kind of parallel to each other. Make sense? Now, if you don't have a place to rest your feet, some chair lives do not, okay? What you can do, I'm gonna bring you down there. Whoop. And your foot's just hanging. You can slip your boot underneath the board like that and just let it relax, okay? Just a heads up, it might damage your boot a little bit, but nothing too serious. Okay, what else can I tell you about the chairlift? Of course, a lot of them do have maps, so you can kind of explore. We are way down here at the Quicksilver chairlift. All right. But once you get settled, for the most part, 
you can just kind of sit back, enjoy the view, enjoy the ride, and hopefully you're not scared of heights. So as I'm approaching here, I'm kind of on the right side. There's no one on the chairlift, but if people were on the chairlift for me, and I was on the right side, I'm probably gonna have my toe hanging off. That way it pulls me to the right and kind of away from the traffic on my left. Okay, just something to consider. And we got about a minute or two, so I'm just gonna sit back and uh, enjoy this ride. Okay, as you can see, we're approaching the end here. And there's usually a sign where it says raised bar here. It's right up there where that pink sign is. So at that point, that's where the bar is usually gonna come up. And then you're gonna get yourself ready and sideways, okay? And you're gonna glide off with either your toe or heel hanging off, okay? We'll raise the bar here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And look for the line before you stand up. Simple, right? Just make sure you get out of the way, because as you can see, there's plenty of people right behind you. You don't want to fall and get crashed into. Well, I hope this little video of loading, riding, and unloading the chairlift was helpful to you, especially if you're a first timer or you don't make it to the, uh, the ski resorts very often and you want a little fresher upper or some tips. If you are brand new or if you know you're looking to fine-tune the basics check out my other uh, learning how to snowboard videos I guess you know those have been pretty helpful for a lot of people if you check out the comment section and I uh, appreciate all the feedback if you like this video and it was helpful smash that like button that helps spread this around and if you want to travel around for some more adventures and some how-to tutorials click that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one gate okay.